Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you'd like to watch my playthrough from the beginning, I will make sure to have the first part linked below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get back into it. Alright, we're getting back into it today. Uh, we got a message from Ominous that we need to meet him because Sebastian's trying to meet up with his sister alone, and that's kind of sketchy. What's going on Sebastian here? Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. Hi, Anne. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You did what you had to do, and I agreed. It might well have salvaged my friendship with Sebastian for the moment. Do I regret it? I don't know. <laughs> the choices were so shit. I don't know if I regret it or not. You did agree, and it did save your friendship with Sebastian. For the moment. I thought we'd gone too far before, but Sebastian is in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Okay. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Uh, oh good, I have like all my fire spells anyways. Let's go. We've caught on to the illusion of choice. <laughs> Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. This is no time for looting. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead. In the great room. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Spring gun. Let's do... things out of the walls that's when spiders come out there weren't this many in theory before and what there's up? no sign of sebastian Confringo. down we go Confringo. A moment. Okay. I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. 
When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. Hi, yeah, how is that going to heal she Anne? Stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit. Make him think it's a family fight. Aww. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm gonna see if you can good talk some sense friend. into Sebastian. Be careful. <laughs> Falcon, there's no way you thought this was Sebastian. <laughs> there's no way. Okay. Sebastian! I have a feeling we're not gonna like how this turns I'm out. It's time to go beast mode. Yeah, that one doesn't have range. Oh, he's got him with the fire first. I think Sebastian's gone too far. Which is very unfortunate, because I was hoping there'd be a These very- These Fury seem far from control. Rational ending for this quest. Hey, Will. Good to see you. Did I swear? <laughs> That's funny. Man, I hope the new Destiny content is cool. Bombarda. Oh, I don't... Did he go... Did he even go this way? I need to not be wasting my time. Sebastian. Where did you go? There he is. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to work. Levioso. Accio. There we go. Whose body is this, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Incendio. There we go. 
All right. There's Sebastian. Sebastian. Isn't this incredible? Sebastian. I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it, just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio relic! Solomon, don't! The relic! Might be for the best. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know anything anymore with this quest. Sebastian shouldn't have done that. What? Yeah, this is not cool. Bro, I'm a miner. <laughs> Can't be. <laughs> Use a magic on me. <laughs> this isn't my fight. This is a family issue. I'm just trying to fight the inferior. You guys, you guys handle your own fight. Why am I stuck in this? Sebastian, your fucking things are attacking me. his things and his uncle is attacking me it's a little backwards this is his fight not mine Sebastian what have you gotten me into Well, these guys just keep spawning, so. I don't want to attack this man. What is this place? Go home. Someone take me back to Hogwarts. I'm beating up someone's innocent uncle. Now you've gone too far. I will not use Crucio on him. That's a mess. Uh, 
Sorry, it had to be done. And Fringo. Fringo! <laughs> yeah, love you so. That was, I, that was too far. You're right, you're right. Plus, is just a laugh Sorry about that. That was a little, that was a little harsh. You know? I didn't mean to slam you on the ground like that. Oh, hey! Teach me! Teach me! I need that. Now you've gone too far. Confringo. Confringo. Where'd you go? Confringo. Potato. Stupid guy. Confringo. Descender. Sorry, it had to be done. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Bro, teach me how. Please. Sorry, Mr. Solomon. Sebastian, you must stop. I think we need to stop, Sebastian. I won't let her suffer. <gasps> the Vada Kedavra. Oh, Anne. What have you done? Huh? What have you done, mister? Accountability for your actions. This is not okay. <laughs> I must get out of here. Uh... Why did I, I can't let him leave? Why did I think that there was gonna be 
a potentially good outcome for this quest. You know, like, oh, we'll just use the relic responsibly. Sebastian, wait! And then if it, we can't use it responsibly, then we won't do it. He would be a Slytherin. <laughs> Sorry. Just, come on. What is it? I mean, what is it? You just committed murder. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on her. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... Bruh! Give me the curse, but I'm not trying to make him feel like he's justified. <laughs> this truly is an awful quest, I'm gonna be honest. It's a little fresh, it's very frustrating, I'm gonna be honest. Because I want to know the curse, just in case. You know, just in case we're fighting some bad people. <sighs> but I'm tired of Sebastian. I'm tired of him. Everyone should know that curse. Oh, fuck it. I don't care. You went too far, Sebastian. I don't I, need it. I can't think right now. I need to leave. Like, why is this the quest to get it? I can't stay here. <laughs> is after someone's been I need murdered. To find Ominous. After someone's Sebastian. been murdered, you can learn Please, it. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft. All right? <laughs> Bro. So let's work on the main quest, go to the map chamber. It's a fun combo. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Loggog to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgog... Lodgog and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgog was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need mm -hmm. to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Um... Sorry, it's hard to keep up with these quests. Should I not say? I don't remember, like, if I shouldn't say. I don't know. Isadora say. told Bragbor <laughs> about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rockwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability Ooh. to interact with beasts. Okay, that's an interesting trial. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. Okay. An exceptional level of magical skill? 
nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. Sounds good. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. All right. It's a plane. I'm not ready for Professor Bin's lecture. What is this? I've got my pillow. Going to class. What's up, Ominous? Hey, how you doing? In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. <laughs> now for a stroll to the bell tower. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. We're going on a tour in chat. All of the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Do they actually have a ghost for Professor? Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, <laughs> goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented nice artisans, name. such as Bragbor the Boastful. Bragbor? Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lodgok said he was an ancestor of Renrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Day. Oh, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Revelio. Oh, okay. oh, this isn't the one. Bell Tower and all students introduce themselves to this hero of Hogwarts. Wait. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh, yes. Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> that is really weird that they're doing an HBO adaptation. And also, yeah, like, why not a new story? Jeez, sorry. This Grimbold. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Uh. Yes, I 
Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Athbuttle. He's ah, also puddle. nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Where can oh, I find that friendly knight you mentioned quest. earlier? Oh yes, Sir Athpuddle, or rather the statue of Sir Athpuddle can be found amongst the other statues of knights. It's easy to identify, as it's been enchanted to wave at those who take the time to seek it out. Hmm. Where his warm and approachable demeanor... These bits of room are all that's left of a witch called Selene Wartnovy. Rumor has it, she was demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Perhaps she succeeded. I suppose we'll never know. Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Binz's manner of teaching. What I wouldn't give to be back on a broom right now. This is... Wagadu's history is, well, a bit different than that of Hogwarts, to say the least. At least we're out of the classroom. Revelia. Wooden cap. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangredon. Fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. <laughs> I like that. Incendio. Revelio. Hey, wave to me. Hi. Hogwarts founded. Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. <laughs> Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning mm. the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions <laughs> to discuss. Mm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. All right, then. <laughs> that was an interesting quest. They had to include one boring lecture in this game, you know? It's got to feel like school a little bit. Okay, how far are we going? Oh, we're going far. Time for the broomstick. Let's go. I think I've got my best stuff on. I think we're ready. Handy resource indeed. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. That's good. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because Footprints. they no longer need to track the keepers for information. Okay. Revelio. History was hard for me because I'm this not. Place could I'm not good at remembering clean. names Let's or dates. Around. Like that, I I honestly really struggle in games like this, 
with keeping up with the plot because they will reference people whose names I have not remembered yet. Revelio. Incendio. Is that a? It is. I believe I know oh, what was done. That's a dragon face. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looked like a dragon. That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a grap horn. Grap and the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Okay. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor right. Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. All right. See you, Professor Fig. Ah, I remember this skeleton. This must be the place. Wow, so that's what the skeleton is. Or is it a whale? My guess would be it's a whale. Very well. Lord of the Shore, show yourself. Whoa! That's not a dragon. <laughs> well then. This is not gonna end well for me. What am I supposed to do? Subdue it? What, by maiming and injuring it? Yes, he's gonna trust me once I almost kill him. Oh, she's <laughs> Louise. You are feisty. I don't know why. Why are we attacking this? Makes no sense to me. He 
He's not gonna like me after beating him up. Stash. I'm gonna use it all on the first fight. <laughs> this guy's moving crazy. like no cooldown on this roll thing but i'm trying to do it right now and it won't she won't roll only works sometimes <laughs> roll girl roll i don't know how you make her do it all the time Come that way. That's scary. Oh, she won't do it half the time. Girl, get out the way. She's not doing it. Murder me, please. I need your help, friend. Main character moment. True. There you start carrying <gasps> Dracarys. Ooh, the Graphorn has a powerful charge attack that deals large amount of damage to enemies in certain barricades. Hold that trigger to initiate it. Oh, okay, have it. No need to race now, my friend. <laughs> Hell yeah! I need to get a thumbnail. Slow down now. There we go. <laughs> 
Where should we get a thumbnail at? Faster! Mr. Graphorn. Well, this is a bit magical. Oh, I'm going to eat them. Eat them. Eat them. Time to go a little quicker. Okay, fine. Don't eat. Them. Didn't anyone ever teach you not to take things that don't belong to you? <laughs> I'm one to talk. I'm literally taking all these animals all the time. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. Let's get this over with, shall we? I have things to do. Should investigate. We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> Some feeding enemies is broken. You took Nora Treadwell from us. Oh, don't go off! Get him! Oh, no. He doesn't have much of a an attack. Time for you all to clear out. Get out of my way! Oh, I shall it. Get out of Oh my god, what did it what did I just slow down? Step on a cow? I think I ran over a cow because I wasn't looking. No need to race now, my friend. Thumbnail? Potential? Okay, potential. Slow down now. There we go. Faster! I need to do the cow tipping that Kells told me about. Woo! Good job! No need to race now, my friend. Hey, Professor Fick! Oh, wait, I forgot he's not here. I really get to see this. going what what do you mean you're telling me i can't he, he can fit all right my friend <laughs> i was gonna let him go okay Ready. Very cool. <laughs> Those are your cousins. Very cool. I like the aesthetic of these areas Perhaps a lot. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber.
It's getting kind of annoying. Oh, Zendix, like, it's getting annoying like, trying to get the last 2%. Is that what you mean? Oh, that- wait, was that the trial? Oh, I was expecting there to be more, but maybe there is more. Maybe. That was a pretty epic boss fight already. Hello? Is it Ora? Is it Ora? Sounds like it's on fire. Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. Oh no. We must gather the others. I need you to return to your common room, all right? Adora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. You taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> ah! Teach me. <laughs> a good guy can teach me about it, Kadok. She's alive. I 
sort of, they're whispering, Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. They'll always be whispering. Is there anything in there before you move? Caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. Mm, you see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the oh. repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, okay. and we will open the way forward. Oh, I think we're getting very close to the end. It feels I okay. shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. Mm. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. Okay. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Ooh, feels like the beginning of the end. Hi, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my content, you can always catch me when I'm live on Twitch at She's Emma. You can be a part of the Cozy Crew. We'd love to have you here, so make sure you follow me on there, and I hope to see you in the next stream.